so you don't really understand alphas. Not a problem. For this demo, we are going to just pick the arrow alpha right here. Now, alphas work directly in conjunction with your stroke. You are probably familiar with the standard stroke called dots. Then we have the drag rect, which lets you left click drag an alpha in any direction and size you want. Freehand is like the standard, but a bit smoother. Colored spray gives you a random cluster of your alpha in different sizes and intensity, while normal spray is the same thing, but with a constant intensity. And finally, drag dot is kind of like drag rec, but instead of dragging size and direction, you are only dragging position. How pronounced the shape is depends on your intensity, and how faded the borders will be depends on your focal shift. So if focal shift is high, then the corners will fade a lot. If focal shift is low, then the corners won't fade at all. Now alphas are awesome because you can essentially drag any shape you want out of your model. Unless you hold alt, in which case you can carve stuff into the model. The more poly you have, the clearer the alpha will be. If you create a shape and you want to turn it into a poly group, just go on the right and under poly groups hit group change points. Or if you just want to make a mask out of the shape, just go to mask and hit mask change points instead. This makes it really easy to do clean work like Dynamesh or Polish by Groups or Z Remesh for easy topology when you need it. The most common application of alphas though is for skin textures. If you get a skin alpha from anywhere online, just go here under import, set stroke to spray or colored spray, turn on the lazy mouse, and within seconds of left clicking, you can start plastering realistic skin pores to your character. One more cool trick that I learned from Square Enix was if you have a black and white texture map that has details that you want to engrave onto your model, just go to the mask and under color, mask by intensity. And it will create a mask based off of your texture. Now from here, you just go into defamation, then you can inflate, and bam, your design has now been engraved. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.